to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministries. Oh, y'all mad? Y'all watching me? Y'all so mad? I don't even know y'all watching me. <laughs> I can feel y'all energy. <laughs> y'all mad? <laughs> Damn, y'all mad for? Anyway, welcome back to another. I'm serious, like y'all. Whoever watching this video, I just felt y'all energy. Like y'all mad? <laughs> y'all mad? That's what he keeps saying. Why y'all watching me? That's crazy. It's like insanity. Keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. You know, the Lord showed me that this morning. He showed me that this morning. But he always been showing me. It's nothing. He's just confirming what I was thinking. Doing the same thing, expecting different results. Especially when it comes to healing. It won't work. When it comes to healing, the environment. The people, the, the situation, everything has to go hand in hand. If you take the addiction away and you leave other things, the addiction is going to come back because it was halfway healed. The person was halfway healed. They probably needed other healing in their body, financial healing, healing everywhere. And so when you keep taking away one half and the other half is just there, the other half is going to come back and then we keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. That's what the Lord showed me this morning. Anyway, guys, that's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Let me talk about what I wanted to talk about. <sighs> Thank you for decreasing my flesh and increasing your Holy Spirit. I'm reading from John 16, verse 21. Okay. John 16, verse 21. So I had this dream that I was pregnant or I was expecting, but the but the it was still like an early pregnancy, and then the baby was bulging out of my stomach. Like it was like sticking out in the skin. But I could feel the baby, but it was still like the ball, the embryo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The embryo was still in the embryo. Of course, it's going to be an embryo. But it was like the small, a small fetus. But it was poking out. It was bulging out of my stomach, like my lower abdomen. Now, what you just told me? Oh, okay. John 16, verse 21. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A woman, when she is in labor, has sorrow because her hour has come. But as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that uh, for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Your baby is coming, okay? spiritually the lord has you had you laboring down here in the land of the living physically he's been telling you to do this you've been doing it he's been leading you this way people think you crazy but you was obedient and so the lord is saying your hour has come and when this baby come you will have no more remembrance of all the anguish that shall about of everything that you just went through. God is it, Shabbat. This baby is going to make you forget the pain, forget the suffering. That's how big this baby is going to be, says the Lord. Okay? You're not even going to, Shabbat. You don't have to try to forget nothing. When you at Shabbat, when you have the baby, when you birth what God has said it's time for you to birth, that's when naturally everything is just going to happen. You don't have to work to say, oh, well, let me forget this. Prophetess and apostle say I need to. No, 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 no. When God allows you to birth this baby, it's naturally going to take care of everything. So don't worry pretty much. And then I did see another meaning to seeing this dream could be an improvement in your finances. Okay, so when you do it, Shalabah, I receive it, Jesus. So when you do have these kind of dreams, always try to look up multiple, um, try always biblical first, but if that doesn't work, spiritual meanings to your dreams, okay? Um, I found the Bible scripture, John 16, verse 21, when, you, when the, the Lord says, you will have no more remembrance of all the anguish it's about exactly what prophetess said last night. 
She said to forget everything you have been through up until the day before. And so, amen. The Lord is saying when you have your baby, when you birth, when you hashaba, when what God says come to pass, then that will happen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You can't forget nothing if you don't have no promise in your hand that God keeps saying, keeps saying and preparing you for. Like you can't skip the steps. That's what the Lord is saying. Everything he said has to come to pass in the way that he said it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you birth this baby that God had you waiting for, whether it is spiritually, financially, marital breakthrough, amen, restoration breakthrough, all that the Lord has said, then you won't have no remembrance for the anguish, for the trouble, for the pain. It's like you're going to know it was there, but you're not going to. Think about it. You're going to be so busy with the promise. You're going to, God is going to have you working in your new territory, he says. So you're not going to, you're not going to have a need for it to remember it. You're not going to, thank you, Jesus. You're not going to be broke, busted, and disgusted no more. So that way it's coming to remembrance. Like your promise has to be birthed, which means God has to do what he said. And then he, and Shobah, it naturally takes it away, okay? So I pray I have a blessed day. Shalom.